Hey guys, this is Science Studio. This is our first installment of Minute Science, so we're going to get right to it. If you ever get the chance to visit the planet Venus, don't. Set your oven to its max temperature and then multiply that temperature by two, and chances are that's roughly what the surface of Venus feels like, whatever it feels like inside that oven. Please don't try that. Let's say that you have a spacesuit that can withstand 900 degree temperatures. All right, well, you've gotten past your first problem, but your second problem is that sulfuric acid is everywhere. It's in the clouds, it's in the air, it's on the surface, it's literally raining down. So your spacesuit would not only have to withstand 900 degree Fahrenheit temperatures, but it would also have to withstand corrosion from sulfuric acid. You've got a third problem, pressure. The pressure here on Earth is about one atmosphere. Uh, which is 760 millimeters of mercury, 101.3 kilopascals. There are a lot of different numbers that mean the same thing. Well, on Venus, if we stick to just the atmospheric scale, Venus has an atmospheric pressure of 90 Earth atmospheres, which means that the weight above you from just the, the, the air itself is 90 times heavier on you than is right now on Earth. Our bodies here are acquainted to that. We've evolved and developed under this atmosphere, so it's okay, we, we can handle that. But on Venus, we would be crushed almost instantly. So now we need a suit that can withstand heat, sulfuric acid, and intense pressures. This planet is hostile, guys. I would advise going there. The Russians tried to do it. Their satellite lasted about four minutes before everything started just falling apart, melting, and, and just, uh, just corroding. It was not a pretty sight, and it was, uh, frankly, a big waste of time, with the exception of the few pictures, like this one here, that we managed to uh, have sent back to Earth. So, that's your minute of science, guys. Thanks for checking us out. More to come.